Hello and welcome back to Zeiss Innovation Rocks. This is rock number three. You've just seen what happened in previous Innovation Rocks and this week is all about connecting to productivity from the cloud. There's going to be an expert talk and then a demo. Now, each rock consists of two parts. There's this, the show, on the Tuesday, and then a free webinar on the Thursday where we go into a lot more detail, but more about that later on. Now, please join me in welcoming our guest, Christoph Grieser, Head of Software and Quality Intelligence. Welcome, Christoph. Hey, Ryan. Hello. Great to see you. Good to have you here. Now, first of all, I have to apologize. I had to rearrange the space a little bit to, uh, to get the table in and the screen. But don't worry. Once we're done, I'll put everything back again. But these are exciting times, and uh, therefore, the setup, I really like it. Christoph, now, we, we've all heard of... Um, how data is the, the new oil, how it's the fuel of the modern world. Now, when I think of Zeiss, I think of machines. I don't necessarily think of data and software. How does Zeiss fit into this data-driven world? We are well known for reliable results from our machines at customer sites, as well as we have a big team of application engineers understanding the customer needs and the customer processes. And basically, you know, software is the glue in between. So these three things, if they come together, they make a real good solution for the customers. And therefore, if data comes together, we analyze the data, we show the customer the data, we transform the data into information. If you can correlate them within, you know, like the production environment to a whole setup where data is basically generating productivity. Now, if we compare um, Zeiss Pi Web to other reporting software, what, what makes Zeiss Pi Web so special in this regard? Well, if you look into the reports, it's a reporting software, mm -hmm. and the reports are very intuitive. They're easy to generate. It's basically like Microsoft, the PowerPoint of the metrology. Mm. So you do not have to go through critical tables and stuff like that. The data is shown very intuitive and everybody without, you know, like a big training effort can generate the data. If you look at the reports we are generating, there are a lot of information on a very powerful visualization engine. And that's what makes it all about. That's a big difference from PyWeb to others. Now, do, do customers need a Zeiss CMM to use Zeiss PyWeb? PyWeb can be used not only on our machines, it also can be used on our competitor machines or other devices. Like, you can use it on CMMs, you can use it on microscopes, X-ray machines, or even handheld devices, or you can type in data in, in person. Now, Christoph, what businesses is Zeiss PyWeb for? We took a lot of efforts not only to focus on a certain specific business. We brought PyWeb basically to the application software, Calypso, Caligo, that's the beginning. Customers work with it on a daily basis. Mm. But there are also small businesses, you know, like small chop shops, they have one or two or three machines and they have to gather the data from all these machines. So PyWeb is scalable and was designed to be scalable that these data can be used also for small business solutions. And on the long run, you know, like think about big OEMs, big enterprises, on a global scale, PyWeb also serves those with their, you know, like scalability. PyWeb is a universal software package from the small individual working place, you know, like one user mm. to a global vast environment. It's fantastic, Christoph. All of this sounds so powerful and so intuitive. I'm really excited to find out what the next step, the next level for this could be. Let's take a closer look. Wow. Christoph, that is what I call a next step. Have you seen that? How easy it is? The visualization power, and now it's on the cloud. That's perfect. Speaking of the cloud, 
I use, as do many, many people, use the cloud at home. I upload photos, music, whatnot. How is the cloud different in a B2B environment? Well, you know, the biggest concern of our customers if it comes to cloud was security. Mm. Are my data secure? You know, like, can anybody access it without my knowledge? No, basically not. We really intentionally choose Microsoft Azure Cloud as our partner in that respect to give the customer the full security of that. And basically, if it comes to cloud, also here, as mentioned before, in the cloud, you can access the reports, the data, and the information necessary to improve your process as a customer, really, on a heartbeat. That's easy, accessible 24-7 around the globe. So that's the benefit of a cloud. Christoph, I love this. It is big, it is intuitive, and it's got so much power. I'm really intrigued to see what this thing is capable of. Over to Jay and Daniel for a bit of a demo. Hey, Daniel. How's it hey. going? All right. OK. That sounds awesome. But I know a little bit of PyWeb. Um, what's changed for me? Well, Jay, to be honest, for you, if you know PyWeb a little bit, nothing really changes. PyWeb Cloud actually just adds benefits to you. Let's just say. Uh, you want to access data from colleagues overseas, you can just do that with Pyro Cloud. Ah, okay, so I have a pro obviously everyone knows I'm not from Oberkoken, but I have colleagues all the way back in uh, Minneapolis. If we have a project, this is something, a tool that we can use? Absolutely, that's the right solution for you, yeah. Okay, well great, well, can you show me? Sure, Perfect. yeah, so um, Pyro Cloud becomes accessible with an all new online application which we call the Pyro Cloud Portal. Okay. Um, it's the general access point if you want to purchase and manage a Pyro Cloud subscription. And in fact, I have it right here. Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. So this is the starting screen. And once we have, have created a SciCD account, we mm -hmm. can just easily log in. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so once we've logged in, as you can see, the Pyro Cloud Portal and the home screen provides us three different options. Mm -hmm. Purchase, trial, and my subscriptions. There's a trial subscription. Correct. We provide customers the opportunity to really test Pyro Cloud for a period of 90 days, so okay. three months, at absolutely no cost. Oh, that's great. That's great, especially for the world now. Uh, um, I'm used to, you know, when I get an online subscription or whatever, trying right. it before we, we buy it, and it sounds like right. that's what we're doing here. Right. So this free version contains uh, a license of each of our PyWeb modules, mm -hmm. the PyWeb Planner, the Signer and Monitor, and also a cloud database with 10 gigabyte of storage capacity. Okay, all the things I know. Right. Okay. But CJ, if you really want to make PyWeb Cloud your own solution and adapt it to your specific application, mm -hmm. just go to the Purchase button and you can then run through an easy and simple step-by-step -step purchasing process. Okay. May I show you how it works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. All right. So in the first step, you can specify the number of licenses you want for all the PyWeb modules. So the monitor, designer, and planner. And these are the same modules that I know. Absolutely. Okay. So function-wise, it's exactly the exactly same. Exactly the same. No yeah. difference for you. So let's just make it one each. You can always check your summary. In the second step, you can then select a database. And with our 10 gigabyte, 30 gigabyte, or 100 gigabyte solution, I'm pretty sure there's one alternative for each and every application. You can definitely scale this the way we need to. And this looks very familiar, very intuitive, something yeah. I'm just used to doing. That's what me and my team try to implement. Right. Yeah. So let's just choose the 30 gigabyte version. And we can then proceed with the third step, which is where you can review your configuration or your specification okay. and ultimately confirm your subscription. That easy. It's that, that easy. easy. All and right. then you're all set. So we talked about a few of these things, but you also talked about the uh, subscription management part of uh, the portal. What about that? Right. So once you own a subscription, as we do right now, mm -hmm. um, the My Subscription area becomes really core of the portal. Um, here you can view, manage, and also adjust your Piper Cloud subscription with okay. just a few clicks. Okay. Well, you can make changes. Right. You can. Okay. You know, with Piper Cloud, you're not really bound to your initial configuration. It's really a solution mm -hmm. that you can scale as you go. Mm -hmm. So. You can, for example, enhance your Pyro Cloud subscription by adding further databases or new licenses for the Pyro modules. Mm -hmm. Or you can also remove elements from your subscription if you like. And all of these options become accessible with our My Subscription area. Uh, you just have to select the respective subscription from the list. I got a couple of subscriptions right now. Mm -hmm. Let's just use this one. And you can then go to the database section mm -hmm. where you can see the current settings and add further databases. There you go. And you already know that interface, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Or just... go to the module section and do the same thing for the module licenses. Well, what about the other sections in here? So if you want to make your Pipe Cloud uh, subscription accessible mm -hmm. uh, for others, for other mm -hmm. users, mm. user management becomes core, right? Sure. So just go to the user section. And here you can invite additional users to your subscription, make the database accessible. You can determine their rights and permissions, and you can also remove users if you like. And that doesn't matter where they are in the world, you can give them rights to... Right. It doesn't matter where they are, just send an invitation email, it's automatically, and within just a few minutes, they're good to go. Okay, so what I think I'm really seeing here is that this is the same PyWeb that I know, but it really can grow as my business grows from a database standpoint or usability standpoint or even wherever in the globe my team takes me, it can grow or contract as I need it when I need it, right? Right, Jay, that's a perfect summary. Great, well thank you for taking the time and showing that for us. Uh, and for you, if you have any more questions, please join us on our webinar on Thursday. But for now, that was our Zeiss PyWeb Cloud demo. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hey, that was pretty cool, man. Yeah. Thanks, we'll see you. Thank you very much, Jay. Thank you very much, Daniel, for that demonstration. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah, have you seen that? It's intuitive. Yeah, it's absolutely, very easy. it is. So. Now, um, Christoph, what, what is the biggest benefit for customers in this? Well, Productivity, gains in productivity. Pivot gives the customer the possibility to really focus on the most critical processes and elements in their production because it creates transparency mm. and therefore to focus on that, get rid of these obstacles within their production, helps them to get a higher productivity, get a better quality and therefore be more efficient. That's the biggest point. Now, Christoph. This is our elevator pitch. You have 20 seconds. I'm a customer using a competitor's software. Convince me to come over to Zeiss PyWeb Cloud. Go. If you want to gain productivity by creating transparency on a secure setup with Zeiss PyWeb Cloud, that's the solution you're looking for, basically. Bang. Fantastic. Great. And on time. <laughs> thank you. Christoph, thank you so much for being here today. It's a boss of pleasure for me. Thank you. Now, we have something special coming up, our webinar, where we dive into this topic at a lot more detail and uh, we have a bit more time for that as well. So you can register for that on zeiss.com, but all the links are below and that is happening this coming Thursday. There's also an award I want to make you aware of, our Measuring Hero Award. It's the first time we're doing this and we're very excited. There are some phenomenal categories. Check it out and see if you qualify and if you do, apply for the award. We're going to be back next Tuesday with our fourth and final innovation rock. And the topic is becoming a measuring hero. Improve your metrology skills anytime and anywhere. Discover the ways in which Zeiss can help you make your daily operations easier and more effective. My name is Ryan. I'm your host. See you next week.